Hello Aries. This is your November 2019 reading. It will be the full Celtic cross. I'm asking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for Aries. November 2019. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. November 2019. As you know, this will not resonate with all Aries. But I do try to reach the majority of you, and if we don't get the positive reading we're wanting, we will work through it, you know? I'm also given a three-pile, um, three three-pile, three-card reading for you to choose from. I notice it's getting real popular on YouTube, and I thought I would add it. But that will be at the end. But And this is the main energies coming, though, in for all Aries. This is the, the star card. Someone has hope for something. They're hoping towards something. And, and the hope is positive. You know, it's a star card in the upright. King of Rods, that's you in the upright, taking charge, putting on your crown, and doing what you need to do to get things accomplished with a lot of passion. What's crossing it is your Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're going towards. This is what you're fighting for. Stability, overall stability, overall wealth, accomplishment, you know. Your goal, what crowns you, is the Queen of Rods. So you could be taking on this energy again. The Queen of Rods feels a little out of sorts, not knowing what to do. Um, the thing with the Queen of Rods, if she or he is slighted, you know, you don't want to mess with them. They get kind of upset. So they're letting people know that they're going for what they're wanting. And they may come across a little, um, I don't, I don't want to say cold, because that's not what the Rod's energy is. Very passionate without um, um, letting people get in their way. Let me put you that way. And it could be that they're just trying to get out of a negative situation also. The Queen of Rods or any, any energy that's in reverse isn't always nasty. Sometimes they're not feeling well. Sometimes they're a little bit put out. Maybe they lost work. But anybody can get put in reverse. So I'm going to put that out there right, right away. Um, the foundation, you might have put your swords down a little bit. You may have um, decided to see things for how they are with the two of swords in reverse. Um, in the uprise, when someone is blindfolded and refuses to see things for how they are and they put up swords, boundaries. But you may be let, uh, going, uh, putting boundaries down so you can go towards something. Maybe you had them up before and blocked things. In the past, you were dealing with the King of Cups. The King of Cups can be um, a water sign. As you know, I do not... Um, um, assign one zodiac sign to a court card, but this could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But I see it more as an energy of someone um, who's, you know, they're in the upright, they're sound, they give good advice, they're there when you need someone to talk to, emo and on emotional issues, you know, anything of that nature. Very near future, you may receive a message that you feel like is not what you're wanting in the very near future, or you may send messages that seem not very loving um, because you're wanting, um, to do things, like I said, with a passionate nature. Maybe you come off a little bit gruff, is what I'm saying. But there's uh, messages coming in. But you also know, I'm going to start clarifying with another deck, and it can change the whole story up. So what's coming here is, uh, so far as Aries is letting their swords down, they're going for their overall wealth. I do see a lot of messages coming in and forth that are straight to the point, but like I said, a little rough, because here you got the Page of Swords. This is in a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. I see as Aries just telling people what they want in life, really. And the outside environment is not exactly happy with you. It's not like they're miserable with the Sun card in reverse. They're just not happy with what you've got to say, you know? Your hopes and fears is to go for the things you want with the Hierophant. Maybe you want to be a leader in something. Maybe you need to go to a leader. Maybe you're looking um, for advice from people that are sound. And you're hoping you get you find the right people with the Hierophant and the Upright. And messages do come in when you may travel by car, by plane, but messages are coming in pretty pretty heavily, like I said. And I do I did see that with the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords in reverse. Um, I don't think it's really hateful as as it could be. It's more like you're getting straight to the point and telling people what you really want. Oops. Let's see what the, I didn't call that yet, but King of Pentacles. Maybe you're going for the King of Pentacles energy as someone who is basically solid and stable in society. But let's go back to the beginning. Like I said, it can give us more information and change things up. I'm just telling you what the cards may mean at first. 
but I do know messages are coming in, maybe messages that you want. So it's not like you're being blocked. I don't see the blockage here at all. I do see people being straightforward though. So let's go back to the beginning of the King of Rods with the Ten of Pentacles crossing it of overall stability. And remember, this is a, a wealth reading, but I'm also giving the love reading at the end. So wait for that. King of Rods, Ten of Pentacles crossing it. Why are you there for Aries as a subject at hand in November? Why are you there? Do I need two cards, please. And yes, I do uh, meditate on these cards before I even start on this video. Again, passionate messages. Messages that come in that are pretty abrupt. And the Four of Swords in reverse. In other words, Aries is coming out of taking a break if they took one. Or maybe they were feeling ill and now they're not. Maybe they, feel, they were feeling a little loss of motivation in October. But it looks like they're getting their stand again and they're standing up for themselves. And they're going for what they want. There's no more taking a break foundation well let's go for the gold let's go for the gold queen of rods in reverse that tells me like aries had a little bit of a blip there you know they're wanting to turn things around in their life because things aren't exactly what they wanted them to be so the queen of rods in reverse while you're there for aries is what crowns them of the gold for some of you you could be dealing with another fire sign yeah, you're trying to go for your overall wealth. You're take, you're saying, I'm going to work for this. I'm going for what I'm wanting. You may tell people, like I said, in an abrupt manner, what you're wanting. It's not that you're trying to be mean. You're just trying to be straight to the point. And it's like you don't have time to worry or to mince words. Because I see with the Queen of Rods, like I said, in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles as what's crowning them is that someone is trying to work with this and, they, and they're working very diligently with the Ten of Wands and the Upright, almost like they're carrying a heavy burden, but a, something they want to do, you know? It's not that you're not wanting to do this, but I see you also telling people, this is what I'm doing, and I know it's not making you real happy, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So let's go back to the foundation with the Two of Swords in reverse. The Two of Swords in reverse is, like I said, someone may be putting down their boundaries, seeing things for how they are, um, letting things back in their lives, um, going for the things they want instead of blocking everything. So the Two of Swords in reverse, I need two cards for you. For November, for Aries. Why are you there? For Aries. Two cards. Yeah, you're wanting to send messages and stuff. You want to be kind of unchained from a chained situation. Something that was keeping you down with the devil in reverse. But you're also looking forward to getting messages in with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles can be an earth sign too. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I see this as someone coming towards you with prospects. Or you offering prospects. You know, good ones. Now in the past, you have the King of Cups, someone that is very supportive of you, someone whose emotions are in check, and they may they may be a friend, maybe they gave you advice, maybe it's someone that can give you advice, because we're reading this for November, and it may not have happened yet, we're all on a different timetable. So, King of Cups in the past, why are you there? For Aries in the past, what's going on? I need two cards, please. Two cards for the past energy of King of Cups. Two cards will come out. Ace of Cups. Yeah, King of Cups may be offering you something. Something you love. Something you cherish. Something that will help you because you're not feeling really independent right now with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You're not feeling like you're getting gain. So this person may offer you something in the past. Like I said, it may not have happened yet. We're all in a different timetable. So this may still be the future. Um, so someone may offer you some support, like I said. Gifts. Love. You know you know, things that you need, something like you will really desire, something that you care for. And it is because you do not have gain, and so they're going to be there for you. But like I said, you're going to be giving messages or receiving messages that are, are pretty uh, straight to the point. They're not going to sit there and be worrying about your feelings, and you're not going to be worried about theirs. It's not that you're being mean or anybody else around you. It's just someone needs to get the message across that sometimes is not well received. Um, so the Page of Cups in the very near future in November for Aries. Why are you there? Why are you there? Two cards, please. Oh, yeah. Lots of messages and lots of um, very to-the-point energy. The reason why you are doing this or someone's doing it to you, I'm thinking most of you are doing this, is giving messages straight to the point because things seem to came 
seem to have come to a dead halt or too slow with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I see the Page of Swords going after what they're wanting. And it's a, a very fast energy. So this may happen pretty quick in November. And I see like the messages coming through. I'm, I'm seeing you want to come unstuck. And again, messages with the Page of Swords here. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. The advice from the universe, I think, is um, because messages are so, you know, out there and to the point that it could be the universe saying soften the way you talk to people or people that are involved in you, if they're watching this, should soften the way they say things because it comes out kind of wrong and messages are going to come in. So the Page of Swords in reverse while you're there for Aries. As a possible future outcome or advice from the universe, I need two cards. Two cards, please, for November. Yeah, it may very, very well. It's saying, like, if you don't hold back and you and you come across kind of cross, I don't think you're mean to, or maybe you are, that it may not be well received, you know. It's better to attract uh, flies with honey, you know. So it's saying just to watch your words because it could come off kind of wrong. Or, you know, someone should watch their words with you because it could really come off as wrong. I don't think it's a disaster here. I'm just thinking people are going for what they're wanting and, you know, and they don't have time to, you know, um, worry about people's feelings as much or they're not thinking about it. So the outside environment, someone's not quite happy with you. They're coming towards you. It's not that they're... Um, hating you because with the sun in reverse it's not the worst card in the world it's just something is just not 100% and maybe that like I said maybe you said something wrong or they said something wrong and people just aren't happy with one 100% happy I should say so the sun card in reverse is what's coming towards Aries why are you there and let us know what's going on yeah collaboration King of Swords, you can be dealing, dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or someone who is very intelligent, someone that gives good advice. They want to collaborate, but they're not happy with you because, like I said, the words or the communication is wrong. So the moral of this story of how you deal with this and work through it is just to watch your words and make sure you say things clear, but also realize that, you know, don't hurt feelings. And like I said, vice versa, someone should not do this with you. Now, your hopes and fears, you're looking for good advice, you're looking for kind contracts you're looking for stability um with the hierophant and the upright a lot of people argue with the meanings of it but there are so many meanings and when i see this the hierophant there it could be someone that is a leader that you need to go up to or that you are seeking this for yourself to be a leader um, in society something that is solid something that is stable that everybody looks up to so the hierophant in the upright while you're there for aries i need two cards Jumping into something new and becoming the emperor. Yeah, I'm seeing you as just wanting to take control and you're going into something new. I've been seeing it all year long and I'm still, I, I saw it in your solar return reading. I, you're the only one I gave a solar return reading because people have trouble with it. I don't think Aries will have trouble with it though. Um, I do see solid contracts. I see you going into something new. I see you being a leader. I'm seeing you taking control with the Emperor in the Upright, and that is an Aries card. The Fool card jumps into something. They just dive into it without thinking about it. And I think that is the only downfall, but you're wanting to dive into something. The only downfall is that when you're doing it, you may, uh, you know, step on some toes. That's what I need to say. You may step on some toes, but it's looking like you are going to get communications in. Let's see what's going to happen with those communications, and then we'll do the love reading you know relationship reading so the eight of wands in the upright this is the final outcome for aries i need two cards please then we'll sum it up i think i already summed it up eight of wands in the upright while you're there two cards got people that are rooting for you that's for sure yeah communications oh definitely communications and travel is coming in but like i said not everyone's happy with the sun card in reverse it's not like i said the worst card in the world it's just you need to make yourself clear and say, I don't mean to hurt your feelings because I'm just trying to do this. Or you may ask or ask them if they're being kind of where they're stepping on your toes to clarify things. That's the only warning I see here. But I see good communications, 
fast communications. This energy is going to come in pretty quick. When I see this one energies, especially the eight of wands, things happen pretty quickly. So Aries, um, to sum it up, and this is very quickly, you're taking on your crown because you're trying to get your overall stability and your wealth. You're no longer taking a break, and you're, you may step on a few toes doing it, is what I'm saying. And you, like I said, I still see you doing it. You're willing to take on a burden or, or work hard for what you're wanting. You want to be unchained. You're putting down your swords. You're seeing things for how they are. And you're sending your messages forward. And you're accepting them with the Page of Pentacles of Finances. You do have good support. Someone is willing to help you through to help you gain your independence because you weren't getting it. Um, communications, like I said, watch the communications. Even if they're going a little slow, which I think they will come in quick. But you are going to, Aries is going to think they're coming in slow or the people around them. But the advice from the universe is um, be careful about what you say because, you know, people feel like they got, you know, stepped on their toes or clarify what people, you know, say, say to you. Go to them and say, what exactly are you trying to say to me if you're unhappy, if you're the unhappy one? Because I see it as people unhappy with you. They want a collaboration. They're going to get straight to the point. But the person that's getting straight to the point is a very wise person. So if this is business. You may want to listen to them and slow down because I feel like they want to communicate but somebody is not happy with the situation and that, like I said is the only warning I see Aries wanting good things come in I see they want con good control I see they want to jump into something new and they want to be a leader in whatever they're doing and they may very well do it the warning only warning is to watch how you you know you know present yourself and others should watch how they present themselves to you in the end the Queen of Pentacles some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo they are in the upright. This is someone who is sound, stable. They're looked highly in the community. Maybe you're taking on this energy or you're going to meet up with this person or you're going to meet up with influential people. So I see Aries being successful. They're always successful, but they always got something a little bit in the way that tries to distract them. And so that is it. If you get over to distractions and don't let, you know, things bother you too bad and just go the course of where you need to be, you will be successful. The ones that are watching my readings, a lot of you will be. Of course, we're all on a different timetable. It doesn't happen all at the same time. Now, because this isn't love, I don't think this is love. I don't, I mean, I see a little bit of love in the past. Someone's offering you love and kindness, but that could be friendships, you know, and business too. So we're going to do the love readings. Three cards, three piles. You pick whatever's drawn to you. And sometimes pick, people pick more than one. That's okay because they think two of them are speaking to them. Two different piles or th even three. So I need three piles, three card reading for Aries, November 2019. The first one I'm putting out, three cards, please. I need three cards for the first pile for Aries, November 2019 concerning relationships or love. And I do not um, read these in reverse, and I don't fan shuffle them because they're almost ready to break and they're really expensive. I'm going to try to get them fixed. I need another pile for Aries. Oops, something wants to come out. Watch for deceptions. But I'm, I want three different cards. Three cards for the second pile for Aries. Three cards for the second pile for Aries, November 2019. So it's like a pick three, but not as pretty, but accurate, and you're seeing me shuffle them, you know? Three cards for Aries for the third pile. Those that choose third pile, November 2019 love reading for Aries. November 2019 love reading. Okay, let's see what the first pile says, and hopefully it tells us something more about love. Hmm. Let your friends help you. Remember I said that in here. So if that has anything to do with that, because this may be absolutely separate reading with the love, but it may include this. Let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Let that uh, king of cups over here help you that's offering you something. That's it. Um, it says to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I disagree. I think it's, it, what it's saying here is let friends help you. And in other words, don't retreat. So maybe I should read these in reverse. But you do have a soulmate connection coming in. It could be the king of cups. It could be a water sign for some of you. But it could be that um, it may also say retreat from harsh words, you know. I, I think you should let people in, but watch your heart, harsh words. Retreat from that because you'd be talking to your soulmate. You don't want to irritate them, you know. 
third pile. Healing family issues. Past life relationships, karmic relationships, no, not necessarily karmic, um, you know, uh, a past relationship, a soulmate relationship. There's passion there. So heal with a past life relationship and passion will return. So you got to allow healing um, ret to return. And if I were to associate with this reading is to watch your words and allow the healing, talk it out. Because you could be dealing with a soulmate, you know, and you regain passion. If this is what you're looking for, um, you can heal. It's saying you can heal. Definitely, with this past life thing. And believe it or not, and I know, um, I'm thinking it's someone from your past. But it doesn't always have to be because sometimes we haven't met our soulmate yet. But we still need to heal from them because we may have um, been injured in a, by them or we injured our, our past soulmate in another life. And then we need to heal it in this lifetime, if that makes any sense. So that could be it too. I just thought I'd put that out there, but it looks like you can heal from a situation and, and, and deal with your soulmate. Ooh, third one, romantic feelings or we've well, got a wedding. So you may have a wedding coming up or a, or a commitment, you know, cause a lot of people don't marry, but they're, they, 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 act like they're married. This situation involves marriage. In other words, a wedding can come up and there'll be romantic feelings and it's safe for you to love this person that may want to spend the rest of our life with you. It may be coming up. Remember, this is in November. The energy starts there. It doesn't end in November. A lot of us uh, are, are on a different timetable. Some of you may already met this person. Some of you will meet in November, some a bit after, but the energy really starts in November for what I'm reading for. So yeah, you may very well be wondering if you can trust this person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, the one you have very, you know, deep romantic feelings for. It's safe for you to love them, it's saying, okay? I hope I get this all in here. Let me do this. I have to do it this way because I got to get all the cards in. But there's a view of it, and I'll upload this soon. It takes a long time to upload on YouTube lately. That's why I I don't do upload more than one reading at a time, okay? Because it's just a hassle, and it'll take hours and hours and hours. So I try to do at least one a day. And I'll talk to you later. And it uh, looks like you're going to be fine. Just watch your words and realize that um, a lot of you got um, wonderful love situations coming up. And don't fret over it, okay? Bye.